Hola, amigos. Welcome to another vlog. I'm your host, and today, you know what? I just need to take a mulligan. All right, so what do I mean by that? So, hopefully most of y'all are familiar with the term mulligan. Just, you know, basically means I need a do-over. And let me tell you about my Friday. So, woke up way late. I, I am generally a creature of habit, all right? So, wake up at the same time, get up, have my bathroom routine, make my morning cup of coffee, sit down, have my morning devotions, start writing in my bullet journal, finish getting ready, and head to work. This takes an hour, hour and a half to all accomplish smoothly. Um, yeah, Friday that didn't happen. Friday, I don't know what happened to my alarm, but uh, I woke up because my youngest daughter had crawled in bed with my wife and me sometime during the night, and then she poked me in the ribs. I looked over at my clock, and it was 7.20. I went, oh! Rolled out of bed and got ready as fast as I could. Go look out the window. Oh, great. It was raining. My car isn't happy in the rain. Uh, I didn't want to take my motorcycle in the rain, which left the family people carrier. Unfortunately, as my wife had reminded me the other night, we were out of milk, which meant she needed to go get milk, which she couldn't do if I had the people carrier, which meant I needed to run to the store, get milk, drop that off at the house, then go to work. Ugh, yeah. Anyway, show up at work 10 minutes late, just frazzled, nothing's, nothing's going smoothly. And at that point, it's kind of two options for how your day can Option number one is you just say, it's going to be a train wreck, and I just need to get through this day. Especially on a Friday, you can kind of get away with that. Uh, just, you know, just do what you need to do to get done. And get out the door at the end of the day. Option two is you just go, okay, you know what? Started off, the day sucked. Now, what do we have to do to get back on track? And do that, and get back on track, so that you don't throw away an entire day. And if you have a day like that, and it's a Monday or Wednesday, and you really can't just go, all right, I just got to skate for eight hours, you know, you just... You gotta take two. You gotta pull up the big boy pants and get it done. You reset, you get it done. All right, and that's what I did. And in life, you know, you have bad days sometimes. And you can either let a bad start determine your whole day or you can just say, no, this is not gonna determine my day. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna pull it together and I'm gonna get it done. Other times, I'll give you another example, okay? So I'm shooting this here on my back porch because when I should be shooting this running, because I bombed out my long run again today. I, I don't know what it is. It's two weeks in a row now where I've had trouble with this six mile run, and I shouldn't be having trouble with a six mile run. I've not had any problems during my weekday runs, but these six mile runs are giving me fits and that's a problem because I'm supposed to be running more than double this distance in about two and a half months and that money's already paid so I am doing that distance if I have to walk the damn thing and it takes me four hours but I don't want to walk point is bombed out a couple of runs. Now, my choices are, 
I could go, yeah, you know what, maybe this half marathon thing isn't for me. I'm just going to quit. You know, I can't get my money back for the half marathon that I already entered, but I can certainly do better things with my time than keep trying to train for this thing. Or I can just push ahead. Obviously, I'm doing the second one. If I have to redo these first couple weeks a couple extra times until I get it, then that's what I'm going to do because this is the kind of thing you can't quit on. I mean, you can quit on it, but you don't want to quit on it. That's, that's the point. So when I say I need a mulligan, what I mean is, okay, next Sunday, I'm going to have another chance to do a six-mile run. Now, am I going to let the last two failures get in my head? No. Forget all about that. Forget that the first two ever happened or and failed, and just get it done. Now, I may try something a little different. I may do it on a treadmill in my gym rather than outside in the hum in 90 degree humidity. But you know, that's learning from a mistake. That's not, that's not giving up. So sometimes you're gonna have it. You're, you, you have bad days, you have things that just don't go right. And some of it you just can't control, but as my pastor, my pastor taught me 20 years ago, you know, your attitude is your choice. You can't control your circumstances sometimes, but you can control your reaction to your circumstances. And how you react to your circumstances is either going to make things better or it's going to make them worse. But one way or another, you have control over your reaction. Something I tell my kids all the time. Maybe they're going to get it eventually. But, uh, yeah. That's the, the thought, the lesson, whatever you want to call it for this week. Is, you know, forget the bad thing. Take a mulligan and just forget that you had the failure. Learn from it. Don't let it control your continued future reactions. All right, that's all we got for today. It's going to be a good week. We'll see you here next week. Till then, I'm Aaron, and remember, keep the knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. Bye, everybody. Hey, folks, Aaron here. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want more, please hit the subscribe button, like it, all that stuff, and don't forget the alerts for when I post new videos. New videos go up every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 a.m. Central. Vlogs and gaming content. You can also find me at my blog, sticksstoriesscotch.blogspot.com. My Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash shadowcaster. And a lot of other writing over on Mariner's Rock. Hope you'll be back next time. Until then, remember... Keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. And now, I got a ride.